ALE is the largest non-governmental operator in Antarctica and we don't have a monopoly by design but are virtually the only people flying non-governmental people into the interior of Antarctica. The com company started in, in the mid-1980s out of a desire by people trying to climb the seven summits, the highest peak on each continent, to get to Mount Vincent to climb and it been climbed in, in 1966 by um, a US government supported expedition and after that access really dried up and there was a desire to people come and we started flying doing fairly pioneering flying from Chile in a twin otter and this British glaciologist had the idea of landing big wheeled aircraft on, on blue ice came and searched the area found a blue ice runway or an area could be used as a blue ice runway at Patriot Hills and the company slowly grew Antarctica and, and operating here is, a, is phenomenally difficult. The weather's challenging. It's either very cold or it's blowing a gale and, and the air's full of snow and you can't see anything. Uh, there's no roads, there's no, no transport infrastructure, so everything has to be done by air. And if you make a mistake here, it, it just as a member of staff, if you're outside and you, it, you, un, you underestimate the weather and you get cold, you get punished very quickly if you make a mistake. Both of you guys pick up that jacket. That's a very early prototype that we're playing with. We think we can make a better cold weather coat yep. as long as it's durable and warm and also <clears throat> allows you to do everything else. It's not restricting at all. It feels like a regular down jacket, but it's obviously it seems a bit durable. Yeah. How's the bulk? You feel like you could do the work you need to oh, do? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's light. Not, it's light, it's not heavy. Yeah. Like yeah. You, you can feel the, the warmth and everything in it. So. That's the sort of jacket I've been looking for. I think the, big, the biggest sort of principle is that we expect things to go wrong. And our planning is all based on assuming that things will go wrong and trying to put preventative measures in place to reduce the likelihood of, of, of that event and to mitigate the consequences. Yeah.